guys, I'm Cheryl with Off the Jacks, and I'm here today with David Alexander and his awesome rat rod. Thank you. I knew you'd like when I used the word awesome. <laughs> this rat rod is one of a kind, and I know you think, oh, every rat rod's different. Well, this one probably has more detail and more personality than any rat rod you're going to see out and about. So, Dave, first of all, what did this start out as? I know it's a Ford. This I is think. a Ford. It's a 1930 Model A, and it was a tow truck at one point in time. It still got the original frame from the tow truck, and uh, chopped it, put a full blown 350 in there, and uh, you know, and then just did a few details to it. Okay. Uh, a little bit different than some people. A few details. Well, the the hands over the lights, the creepy uh, little root system that kind of could be whatever you your imagination takes you, but something here to hold the radiator in place. But with my imagination, it, it went a little further than that. And then I wanted an air scoop, so I built uh, 72 pieces of all thread and built this in, what's it called, that sea creature? Sea an enemy. Sea an enemy. So something it's, like that. It's kind of a sea creature, all braised, dangerous, don't touch. Anyway, that's the scoop. It's got lights in it. Everything's got lights, so it all glows real nice at night. And these, these are individual rods. Yeah, there's 72 individual bent. rods. Every each one, every one is bent perfectly to fit, mitered and dressed, and it feels nice in the hand. It's smooth, it's clean, and that's just, you know, that's just cool. And I built this little this little starter ring, come off a transmission for the control for the throttle. A little uh, overflow looks like a steel with a little hand holding it for the overflow. And a for glass the, milk jug. Yeah, in, well it says deposit bottle and it's not the typical liquor bottle, it's a milk bottle. And so it's it says family deposit. friendly. Yes, it's family friendly. And now with this, one of the first things, when I first saw you and I saw the car, it didn't have all this stuff on it. It had some things and basically what I remember it having was the hands. Those were the first things. And yep. this, the spider web. So yep. was that something that you, when you started it, you knew you wanted to go with a certain theme? Yeah, I like the Jeeper Creeper theme. My <laughs> wife and I kind of dig that, you know, creepy with the spider webs and creepy hands and stuff. So that's the, that was kind of the way it went. It all started with the hood ornament. My wife seen uh, Steve Darnell, Darnell's uh, D-Rod and said I'd drive the heck out of it. If I had one of them, I'd drive the holy heck out of that kind of what she said you know? <laughs> anyway so I said well then by God I'm gonna go get her a hot rod I'll build her one so I went and got that hood ornament and then started from there and uh, and it's not quite what she was looking for so we went into a different area with that but I just kept I wanted to complete it so I just did little odds and ends on it little things that were a soft touch not anything too gaudy too creepy too weird just uh, soft little touches little things here to hold the wires out of the way something i've not seen before i don't like doing what everybody else has done so i try to twist it and use my own thought process on doing this i don't want to follow somebody else's thing i, I want to be original as if i can i i can take it yeah i can understand that. i can see that and now is this done now or will you just yeah, i think it's done you know, I mean, I may come up with something else, but I've got the Cadillac I'm working on, so my head's over there. I do need to put the name on this, and once the name's on it, then we're pretty much done. This and that rat is what I'm gonna put on my back, plaque back there. But uh, yeah, I think it's done. I think it's close enough. And how long did it take you from concept to done? A year. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I was in it. They said it would take a little longer, but I was driving it in one year. Yeah, from the day I got it. Well, that's not bad at all. You know, and I have a full-time job. I mean, I'm a masonry contractor, and we do wood right. stoves also. And I'm married. I want to stay married. And also, in the spare time, I'd come out and work on this. And to stay married, we're going to go in a little bit and look at how he's making sure that works out well by getting her the car she wants. That's why this is done. <laughs> that's a new project. That's 100% right now. I want to get her in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. And now, with this, what is one part because I know you built this all by hand. Mm -hmm. I've seen video of you creating things even for the new car. What is one of the pieces that you were like, I gotta have this, this is the only way it can go and you had to build it? Because I mean you It's gotta be this. 
because I've been wanting a scoop, but I didn't want to go to the store and buy a scoop. Anybody can go buy a scoop. And I don't want to go buy components that I can put on this and look like everybody else. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm kind of a lone guy. I'm a loner. I don't know. I'm a fruitcake half the time, but I don't want to be like the guy next door. So I built the scoop. I, I came up with this idea. I've seen a sea creature in the, in the ocean with these little tentacles out there trying to eat and doing different things. And I thought I can incorporate that into a scoop. And each one of these are all, you know, hand bent, hand done, hand braised, polished and inserted perfectly balanced to my standard and dangerous enough that you could really hurt yourself if you weren't careful, uh, Yeah. which is cool. It's gotta be a little dangerous, but you don't need a tetanus shot. You can cut yourself and it's okay. <laughs> I so prefer not to, but thanks. That's it. And then I did that and, it's, and it lights up. It's got all kinds of lights in there. So it glows at night, which is what I wanted. So that's basically the, it took a week to do that. Uh, solid, straight work after work, a week. And how many of these, I know you've got the glass doorknobs inside and on the back end. Were those something that you just had laying around or what? I mean, they look a little classy. They're elegant. Well, they're, they're classy and elegant. I didn't want to be with the big tough guy with the crescent wrench and the big Ooh, screwdriver yeah. and a big chain. I, I That's fine. But, you know, I love my wife and we have a good relationship and I could be a little easy. I don't have to be a big tough guy. So I thought, soften it up and let's, let's get some stuff in here pretty, like the little heart. Yeah. Is here and then the door or the uh, doorknobs. These are elegant. I think it's kind of elegant with the skeleton key to lock the car, and then the key to, oops, to start the car is a crystal knob. I did this first, and I thought of her when I did this. So I think that's kind of elegant because I built oh, yeah. this for her. The horseshoe steering wheel. So everything is kind of tough, badass, but cute, clean, and for girls too. I was going to say because. It's, while it kind of looks a little creepy and scary, you know, with the hands and the spiders and stuff, it still has that pretty I call feel. it elegance. Yeah. It's still, it's not like, oh, creepy, scary, it's, I think everything just kind of fits, in my opinion. Everybody else, they might say, wow, that's kind of stupid, but to me, it just all kind of flows softly. It all has a reason, and uh, it all just kind of works. Now, earlier when I was talking to your wife, we were talking about the engine and how fast this will go compared to the weight of the car. Oh, it'll go so fast. You know. Not that any police officer would ever watch one of my videos, but what would this go? How fast would it go if you wanted it to? You know, in case it's somebody thinks fine. it's a baby ass rat rock. You oh, I don't it? know. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, it depends on. I've never had it over 90, and it, and that was just a little bit in second gear. So if I really. Uh, because I, I want to build the Cadillac. I don't want to be on the high wheels sprawled out. You yeah. know, I want to be careful. So I pumped it up to 90 once, just a little bit, but it's, it's extremely fast. It'll probably go 150, 60, I don't know what it'll do. It, it, it'll go way too fast, probably faster I, than you want to go. I was going to say, because I was inside earlier, and this is not something where you sit and feel like you're you're safe. I would not want to be in a wreck in this. No, it doesn't have airbags, <laughs> it's not real comfortable, but it's a rat rod, so you can get away with a little bit of yeah. that. Yeah. So but I it's understand. a full race quarter mile engine that's built for the quarter mile to win races. And everything in it is built to stay together. It's a lot of money. And I didn't have to pay that, I traded that. So I got a hell of a good deal on this engine, but everything in that is built to stay together and win a race. And so this is a Chevy engine, right? That's a 350 Chevy Corvette, eight, uh, 1980, roughly. So you've got a Ford truck with a Chevy engine, and I yeah, that know that a, that just They didn't tell me that chance. until I had it in. Oh, well then, yeah. don't worry about it. So and it doesn't say Chevy anywhere, so who, who'd know? You know what, I didn't know and anybody else asked, just lie to it. That's terrible. <laughs> no. Yeah. So anyway, so that's uh, that's that's it. I swore I wouldn't do it, but I love the engine. I love the sound. It's perfect for me. So, so that's it. So that's uh, I love this little thing. And if you guys are ever out at a show and you see this car, you really do need to get up and get close to it, and don't just walk past because there are so many little details. And like I said, David, he built this stuff. This is not just go out to the store or you know, somewhere and buy it and stick on. This was all thought out. And that's why this is one of, probably my favorite rat rod. Well, now, it's not. Now I'm in trouble with. No, you're not. Cause everybody guys. understands. Everybody has their own kick to this stuff. But my wife and I, 
built most everything in here. It wasn't just right. me, you know, I mean, I, it's a family project. I always try to push that. It's a family project because we all have our hands in here. My son welding and Teresa in there putting up with me, stapling these seats together on the <laughs> living room floor and getting them stuck to the floor. But she didn't bitch and complain. She just laughed and said, they're, ah, they're badass. This is great. Let's do it. Yeah. So she's a big part of this. You know, it's it's her too. She just doesn't want to drive it and I don't blame her. Yeah, That's it's, fine. it's not extremely yeah. comfortable in there, but yeah. So when you guys see it out, you got to pay attention to everything. So if you're in Las Vegas at some of the shows, watch for it. And it's going to be the best looking rat rod at the show. Some might look a little tough. Some might be a little louder. Well, yeah, some might be a little louder. But this has the most detail you're going to see anywhere. So we're also going to jump over and look at his project that he's got going, that he's building just for his wife. And let me tell you what. By the time he gets that done, he'll probably be parking this because she'll be taking over the show. So yeah, we'll be hop over than there. Yeah. You're giving me. <laughs> She's hot. So then. Okay, so we're back again with David and his wife Teresa. This beauty is going to be her rat rod. So tell us a little bit about what it is, why you picked a Cadillac. Well, we uh, we built the one rat rod, and I kind of fell in love with it, and she wasn't real comfortable in it, and she wanted something a little bit bigger. So I have a friend of mine that I call my brother. He's a very good friend of mine. So he come on over, we took a look, and we came up with this 36 Cadillac that had been in a riverbed probably for a few years because it was all full of dirt. And uh, my brother gave this to my wife and said, you know what, you <laughs> like it, it's yours. So we said, cool, we're going to make a rat rod out of this. So we started working on it, and my wife says, I want, please, four-wheel drive, air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, the whole nine yards, all the comforts of home in this Cadillac. So we found ourselves a Jeep Cherokee, drove it over here, put a slab under it, and tore it apart. We took the guts out of this guy and put all the four-wheel drive components in this 36 Cadillac. So the 36 Cadillac has a full four-wheel drive functional with airbags so it'll go up and down eight inches that's just i don't know whose idea that was but it was a cool idea and it works that was the so kids. we got yeah probably the kids because it's cool well, so I think we all came up with it yeah. yeah so it's got airbags uh we're gonna do a lot of artwork in it it's gonna be better than the little rat rod out there uh it's gonna be leather and lace my wife has got some really cool ideas and and that's it it's gonna be a nice little ride so that's all i have on it yeah. That pretty That's much covers it. Yeah, that covers it. Yeah. Well, so. I'm thinking that what we're going to do is show you this today, and as soon as they get some more work done on, we will come back out. We may or may not tell them we're going to come back out. <laughs> Don't give them warning. We'll come out and get some updates on it here and there, and I guarantee when this is done, y'all are going to be amazed. Let me show the tire. I want to show the tire. Hang on one second. Let me blow this over. <laughs> <laughs> these tires that are on it are from the Jeep Cherokee. Can you see me from over there? Let me hit that back wheel. So we're going to take these little tires that are on it off, and I've got to do a little work on the frame, and then we're going to set these big guys in there, and then that's going to be kind of sort of what's going to happen to the car. It's going to have some big four-wheel drive knobbies on there. So. So and this then, isn't going to be a cute little petite Cadillac. No, no. it's going to be a badass Cadillac. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. A lot of art. A lot of artwork. So, stay tuned. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Thank Looking. you very much for having us out. I Thank love it. You. I love your rat rod, and I have a feeling I'm going to love this one even more. Yeah, it's going to be nice. It's going to be better now. Well, I wouldn't say better. It's just going to be more feminine. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I can dig with that. I'll do it. Absolutely. And you'll even take it driving. Yeah. 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 In the passenger side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to have electric seats. The whole thing. I mean, it's going to be well, air yeah. conditioning, it's everything. Gonna, it's got to be. It's got to be good to ride it. It's going to be her, like her Tundra. Yeah, she good. likes her Tundra, <laughs> yeah. but she wants a rat rod. So it's a Tundra <laughs> Cadillac. Not quite. <laughs> well, we're not done yet. But she likes that comfort, so we're going to give it to her. You want? Well, I don't yeah. blame you. Yeah, especially if I have to drive it long yeah. distances. Yeah, and you yeah. know what? 
He'll be riding with you and leave his right. home. He'll and we couldn't there. find a 36 Cadillac oh, okay. engine for it, so we picked up a Corvette 350 from Art. It's going to drop in there, so it's back to Chevy's again. But that's going to be the, the engine. But I should be able to pull a trailer with his rattle up in it. Hey, that's a nice idea. Oh, uh, you are now, yeah, you're just back there. Check your hearse to drive that. It's all crunched up. <laughs> yeah, I can see it now. Oh, look, here comes Teresa. I wonder if she hauled in Dave in his little uh, <laughs> trailer queen. Oh, there he queen. is, in the back seat. <laughs> yeah. That'd be no, fun. you'd be in the front passenger. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Be yes. sure to subscribe for more. You can't pull. I got to lift up, twist, and pull, and then push, and then pull. <laughs> That's good enough.